All right, y'all, welcome back to another video. Just hopped in the truck. We have to run some errands today. It's some fun ones that we're buying some parts, buying some paint, starting to get stuff rolling with this new motor. All right, if my camera falls, probably going to. Like I said in the last video, we gotta go get a new timing cover, a new harmonic balancer, and the balancer bolt. It's not coming off the motor. And I just realized too, if I can't get that stuff off, I can get to my oil pump, or fourth, my oil pump bolts. So we need those two. Probably have to go, go get all new. It's no big deal, but let's go price some parts out and we're buying some paint today. That's what you guys click from this video. We're painting some of the parts on the motor. Super excited. I'll tell you guys the theme and the color we're going for and how we're gonna do it. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> Just still here. I, I haven't stopped recording yet. I'm just sitting here looking at myself driving. I'm, I'm really thinking about getting some type of like dash camera, one for out and one for in. Because if y'all were looking at me 24/7, a lot of people piss me off when I drive. So there's a lot of funny reactions with this. I might do that. All right, but I'm done. All right, so we got over errands done. We ran around, picked up everything. Actually, one of the parts is out of Vance right now, AutoZone. We need to go pick that up because one of the things we're going to be painting in this video today, perfect timing. The other two are going to be here tomorrow. It's another video. I'm trying to keep some of the some of the heart into this motor, so I want to use some of the older parts. None of them are bad. They just need a little bit of cleaning, and I want to do a cool paint theme with it. So everything on the block in the heads is brand new. Not going to touch any of that. I'm not taking any of that apart. It's just what I'm taking off my old motor and putting onto the new one. So we have both our valve covers, our valley cover, our fuel rails, our water pump, and our throttle body, and the little mounts for the cool packs. I ordered those brand new but I want to paint them. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video today. It's going to look really good, kind of keeping everything stocked with color. So we're going for blue theme or black. I think it's going to look really good. So I've been going around. I found the color that I wanted because our wires and everything are going to match. So that's going to be the color we're going to use. We have some primer and some clear and our scotch pride pad just to probably do a little bit on the fuel rail. So that's what we got guys, we're going to head to Alston, set up a table, show you guys how we're going to tape everything up, and start laying our first coat of primer, and seeing how these parts turn out. Alright, we have a rod, let's go ahead and bring all the parts and set them on the table. Got all of our parts laid out here. I just got done cleaning up the throttle body as best as I can. What I'm gonna do now is you're gonna paint most of the stuff doesn't really need it, like the water pump. Um uh, throttle body might be alright, time and cover needs it. Anything that has a smooth surface, just go ahead and use the Scotch Bright. It's pretty much a 320, it just kind of scuffs it up. Once we do that, we'll be able to start laying down our primer. Last, but everything is scratched up looking good. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna clean off the whole entire table. I'm gonna lay down some of my paper laying over there just so we don't spray nothing to the table. And we should be ready to rock and roll, get taping, and jump to the next step. All right, so we got everything laid out. This is the part that sucks terribly, is all the taping. I want to take my time on this because if something's off and it doesn't look good, you really can't go back once it's painted, so. Thank you for that, Olsen. That's what I'm about to start doing. I'm gonna leave all of this kind of showing. I want all that to kind of stay chrome, and everything else is pretty much getting blue, so. All the spots where all the vacuum hoses kind of go, and like the coolant, taping all that up. All the little gaskets around the valve covers, doing that. And then we should be good to spray.
Y'all, the next day I'm gonna crouch down so you guys can see the parts. Sorry about the wind is actually blowing really bad right now. Should probably not be spraying these parts, but we gotta get this done. So we're just gonna wing it. Parts dry really good. I really don't need to do any sanding on them, honestly. I mean, most of the stuff's pretty textured, so that's kind of the look we're going for. Only like the, the timing cover's brand new. That could use it, but we're not gonna do it. Dude, I'm gonna give everything a quick wipe down, and then we're gonna get our first coat of base on. Give y'all a couple shots of what it's looking like. It came out really good. There's just a couple of things like the, um, the valve covers. There's like a little bit of like, call it unevenness, but it's because this stuff is is used. I'm doing the best I can. I want to throw all the back of the truck because it deserves to be on there. It was a good run of motor until I was a dumbass and blew it up. So I want to reuse some of the stuff. Extremely windy. I should not be painting right now, but that is the color we're going for, guys. I would like to go back green. You guys know the lift of my truck is green. But honestly, for me trying to color match everything, uh, like I'm gonna, we'll have some more videos of what I got ordered. You can't find green, so we're going everything blue inside the engine bay. I think it's gonna look really good. So I'm gonna make this first coat kind of light, but because it's so windy, it's gonna be blowing it everywhere. I'm not gonna be able to make it perfect, so it might just go heavy. We'll see how it goes. Let's spray it. Alright guys, that is the first coat gun. Had to go thick. This freaking one is terrible. Not looking half bad. I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about this. It looks a lot darker on camera. It's like a lighter blue, but I was going for a darker blue. That's what I have coming to match. So I want to drag this inside right now, but the bumps, it's gonna I don't want nothing to fall. So between the pollen and the wind, we're just gonna hope that this dries pretty quickly. It did last night, even with some colder weather. So we're gonna let this dry, see how it's looking, possibly do a second coat. Kind of ready to three, but we'll see how it goes, guys. So it's been a couple hours. We had everything drying out, looking really good. Now we're about to lay our first coat of clear. Clear use, clear likes to run a lot. So some of these parts are laying face down or flat. That's a good one. Some of these other ones that have these angles, I'm gonna to try to spray a little bit lighter because I do not want any runs because this is our final stage. So take our time and thoroughly make this last coat really good. It's been about three days. Technically on the can, they wanted you to wait seven for it to fully dry and like cure. It's been about three for me. Um, we're gonna bring all the parts in here right now and it strip off all the tape to get that clean look on it and see how this paint turned out. We got everything laid out. This came out freaking sweet. Super happy with it. Here's a little bit of light on the water pump. I already pulled the tape off this one just to get the thumbnail, but we're going to do the rest of these and see how they all came out. No last look of everything untaped. Did it look freaking good? Some of the stuff it's gonna be covered, so I didn't really do the best around like the throttle body and whatnot, but everything else, guys, is super, super tight taping, and it came out freaking amazing. For a rattle can job, a project like this, I think it came out great. Super pumped to actually start putting these parts on the motor for the Tahoe. 
That's why I had to get the timing cover and some of the other stuff, the valve covers, I wanted to finish those up because now we can actually seal the motor up. I have the new harmonic balancer and bolt with that all being put on it, that's a check off this motor so I won't have to keep it covered. And then from that point on guys, we'll start actually putting some of the, some of the minimum stuff on the motor but we don't want to put too much because I want it to go in easy like it came out with blue because one is what I had at my store and for the other parts we have coming to color match this, it was a lot easier and they didn't have a lot for green but like I said, underneath the truck and in the lights, underglow everything, that's all green. When you lift up in the hood, it's gonna be all blue. That's our theme so. Guys, with that being said, if this was a, like a four to five day span of a project and it was absolutely worth the wait. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I'll get them answered. Till next time, Bass TV.